Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Nice fish, bud. Good job. <laughs> Look at that. Chunky. Is that a northern pike minnow? A northern pike minnow. That is something we don't get at home. Nope. Awesome, man. Hey everybody, we are at our first new location of the year today. We are at Badger Lake, located approximately 180 kilometers southeast of Calgary, uh, near the community of Lomond or Lamond. Apologies to those of you from that community. Uh, maybe somebody will let me know how to say it correctly. Um, we're about, I would say, um, somewhere around six to eight kilometers east of uh, Lamond. Um, this is a PP1 lake. It is the first lake listed in the regulations under PP1 and uh, it is catch and release for walleye and pike. There are also uh, perch and apparently burbot in here. Uh, our target species today is uh, northern pike and uh, possibly walleye. Um, being that it's our first time here we are just checking it out. Uh, likely fishing for about uh, four to five hours today. Um, and um, we're going to try a variety of lures, some of the ones that we're familiar with and some maybe that might be new. So let's get out onto the water. Okay, everybody. This is our first time to Badger Lake. Um, so far, uh, relatively shallow, at least near the shore. Uh, very clear water. Hopefully you can see that in the video. Uh, we can see the bottom easily 12 feet down. Um, but we haven't found a place yet that's deep enough or that we would consider deep enough for fishing. Um, so we're going to head out towards the middle. This is one of the few lakes that has uh, some bathymetry data. So I know that there's some deep spots. And uh, so we're gonna keep going out until we find some deeper spots. Near the shore, we're talking you know, two, three feet deep. Out here right now, maybe, maybe 10. Uh, we're hoping to find something that drops off even more than that, maybe uh, down to uh, 10 to 20, which according to the bathymetry data, there are spots that are that deep. So hopefully we'll get there. Guys, just got my first one here in Badger. It is a small northern. Woo. On the angly spider's lure. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> he was a smaller one, I would say about uh, maybe 40 centimeters, 45 centimeters. Okay guys, just had a follow up. One nice thing about this clear water, you can definitely see them coming. Um, it's one thing with pike, they don't seem to be biting very much today, but you'll typically still see some follow ups. So, just casting out slow retrieve and I'll see if I can get him dialed in here again. Oh, there's a white fish. I don't know if that showed up on camera, but hopefully you can see how clear this water is though. I'm sitting in about 12 feet, 10 to 12 feet. <laughs> Okay, Kieran just finally landed one and since the water is so clear today we will try to do an underwater release. So we'll get over there and see how uh, how big it is. Okay. Finally got one. You did, that's awesome man. Give me a measurement. Okay, let's see. Whoa. He is... 50, 
58 centimeters. Nice. Well, it's definitely bigger than mine. Mine was about 40. So, all right. I'll come over there and get a shot. There we go, everybody. Difference in clarity between eagle and and uh, badger. Uh, amazing difference here. So we are going to get an underwater release of this fish, just to show you how clear it actually is. Finally got another one. Oh, I think I just lost him. I did, right there. So, we've had a couple comments about um, our methods and showing some casting. Um, tried a couple lures today, quite a few different varieties, and uh, so far, Kieran's caught his on his Mako uh, swim bait, uh, perch colored. Um, I've been using our Len Thompson uh, with angling spiders on it. Um, so I think I said before the fish are pretty finicky today, uh, hitting it pretty light. And so we're using a little more finesse than we normally use. Um, right at the moment we're in a little bit deeper part of the lake. I'm letting it sink for about five seconds and then I'm just slow retrieve with a jerk. Um, Picked up quite a few bites and lost a couple, but um, those strikes are soft. So you really gotta be prepared to set the hook here um, because you can miss a strike pretty easy. And they don't seem to be very aggressive today and they're not following up a second time. So if you miss the first strike, uh, chances are you've missed the fish. So um, not typically what we're used to with pike fishing. Um, usually they're pretty aggressive but I've seen this before and uh, it's gonna be a slow day I think. Got him! Uh, this feels like a bigger one. Uh, haven't seen him yet. It definitely feels like a bigger one. Oh, he was in the weeds, that's why. Whoa! And the net. <sighs> okay. <sighs> that feels good. That was literally a minute after I just filmed the how we're uh, doing our techniques. Hopped on this island for a quick break. The turns are not very happy with me, so I'm gonna get back in my boat and uh, get back on the water. All right, I'm going. Just got another one. Feels like a smaller one. He's taking some line. Oh, he's not a bad one. I can see him under the water there. Yeah, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. Oh yeah. Oh, we want to get this one. Oh yeah, let's get that rod out of the way, there we go, that is a better fish, nice, let's measure this guy up, this might be my biggest one of the year so far, oh, oh no, he's gone, <laughs> Ah, lost him. <laughs> I would say he was about uh, in the 70 range.
Just got another one trolling. He's just landing it right now. And he's got it to the boat, which is awesome. That's a decent sized one. Ooh, he's got a good bite on him. Yikes. Now that isn't something I've seen before, that big. That's unreal. Look at that. And wow. A big fish in the first place. That's crazy. Huh. All right, what you got? I got a very bitten fish. <laughs> wow. So I have seen a lot of pike damaged from being bitten. I have never seen one that injured. Um, if you guys have, let us know in the comments. That is crazy. That is right down to the muscle. Uh, and yet he still bit on your lure. Yep. Uh, all right, you want to measure him up? We'll see if we can get him back in the water. Uh, 67 centimeters. Nice. And I think it's just a little smaller than the one I caught, and I thought that one was about 70. Unfortunately, it got off before I could measure it. So yeah, pretty close. Right. Good job, man. Let this That's one your go. biggest of the year so far. Yeah, it is. And? Feels good. <laughs> How'd you catch that one? Oh, I was, uh, I was trolling. It's only the second fish I've ever caught trolling, so it's pretty good. Awesome. All right, let's do a release. So, given that we've caught a couple today trolling, I will show you our trolling technique. Um, as I said, you gotta get a little bit of speed going so that when you toss out your lure, it doesn't uh, go right to the bottom and get snagged on weeds. So, we just give it a couple of good paddles, like that. Toss the lure out behind, get it into the holder and start paddling and that's all there is to it and I hope we catch one like Kieran just did. Hey guys just caught one. Tiny. Yes, right. Oh, I just lost him right at the boat. <laughs> For those of you that are out this way, there are some porta potty washrooms next to a little shed that says uh, Badger Lake Fishing Derby. I have no idea if they still have the fishing derby. Um, and then there is a boat launch uh, just down around the corner here where we form, uh, filmed our intro today. So. And it looks like an old boat launch here um, that's not used anymore. So, there is access. Uh, I don't know about shore fishing. From where we are, I wouldn't see any places to shore fish, but there are some, looks like rocky berms on a dam on the far south end where there's probably some shore fishing, uh, possibly at the very north end as well, but we didn't go to either of those. So, that is uh, Badger Lake. So that's the end of today's video, a short one. Uh, as I said, we were only out here for about four hours uh, and it's almost a two hour drive from Calgary. So uh, makes for a long day. If we were gonna come out here in the future, we would come out earlier in the morning and uh, probably extend later in the night, but we need to get back for something in Calgary. So thought we would at least check it out. Um, how'd you do today? I caught two fish today, which is pretty good for only four hours, so great day. Yep, and I landed three officially in the boat. Uh, I lost another three almost right at the boat, so um, if you count that, it's uh, eight fish in four hours, not too bad. Um, water clarity was nice after being at Eagle, and we actually saw fish in the water. You saw a pike underneath your boat. Mm -hmm. uh, coming in, I saw a pike uh, that I have to guess was about 10 to 15 pounds. So uh, there are some good size ones in here. And um, at one point I also saw a whitefish swimming under my boat, a relatively good size one. So there's whitefish in here as well. So uh, not bad, good little start, uh, very warm day. And 
we're a little bit tired from paddling around but uh, yeah hope you enjoyed uh, seeing some fish in a new lake and if you did like the video smash that like button hit subscribe until next time good fishing <laughs>